Oh, greetings from Iowa this time. Of course, normally I do videos in Wisconsin, so that's why I say this time or so when I'm in a different state like Iowa or Illinois or Minnesota or whatever. But anyway, I'm just making this video because right in front of me, you can kind of see through the trees here, is an old abandoned house. Of course, I'm filming it from the road is because of, you know, that house there is on private property and and just got to stay off of it but why i'm filming this is because this house has a history behind it this is where my great grandmother grew up this was her childhood home here right in front of me and today it's in decay and of course by the looks of it too you know the house looks pretty unsafe to go into anyway I mean, I'm just only filming it from the road because with it being on private property, you know, I don't want to be trespassing in. And I tell you, nobody, there's no trespassing on this property whatsoever. That's why I'm filming it from the road. But anyway, I know there was a one video like up by Platteville or something where there was a site of a former house where my great grandmother grew up, but that was a different great grandmother. This one is a, uh, I think with that one was up by Platteville between Platteville and Lancaster on Buckwheat Bridge in my earlier videos. That one was, that one was um, my mom's dad's mom. With this one here, this is my, um, it would be my dad's mom's childhood. My dad's dad's mom's childhood home. There, best way to put that. It would be my dad's dad's mom's childhood home. But the thing of it is, this was several years ago but I actually did kind of go up and actually walk around the house. You know, I got permission in that. But this was several years ago and I, and they're not gonna allow any, anybody on the property. So I'm just warning you is, I mean, I'm just saying that because I don't want anybody thinking they could go up and look at the house. I mean, no, no. That's the reason why I'm filming it from the road here but yeah this this house was built in 1899 and and this is where Anton and Anna Gerdet who would have been my great great grandparents this is where they lived this beautiful Queen Victorian house and I'm sure it was a beautiful beautiful house probably back in its day when my great grandmother was growing up but you know it but it's sad to see this house is in decay. But when I looked, when I walked around that house several years ago, I can just, I remember looking in the windows and seeing that there was, that, you know, the floors kind of looked unstable and all that stuff. And, and I just like, no, 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 I'm not going in that house. Cause you just never know if you're going to fall through the floor or whatever. I mean, by the looks of that house, it looks like it is about to crumble one of these days, so. Yeah. I mean, this video is just for showing you guys and, like, giving you some history. <coughs> Sorry, a gnat just flew into my mouth. It's just kind of giving you history, kind of from, like, my family and all that stuff. But yeah, I mean, she wasn't an only child. I mean, she had some other siblings too. My great grandmother did, you know, the one who grew up in this house. And of course, back down that way somewhere was where her husband, which had been my great grandfather actually grew up too. And you want to know a funny story is that how they met is that my great grandfather would sit behind my great grandmother in school and 
back in the day, you know, before they had pens and pencils, they had like utensils where you would dunk into the inkwell to write with. What my grand, what my great grandpa would do was, he would dunk my great grandmother's pigtails into the inkwell. <laughs> I mean, he did that, and that's how he flirted with her back in the day. <laughs> But yeah, that's just a brief history of how they met. And I remember hearing from a family member that somewhere inside that house, but thing of it is, it's not there now. I mean, another family member has this item, but there was like a cane or something that like belonged to Napoleon that, that I remember hearing that what was inside the house there, but obviously it's not in there now. Another family member has it. But anyway, this, that right there is the house there where my great grandmother grew up in. That's where she resigned and all that, her, her parents and all that. So I got a gnat in my eye. But yeah, I know the gnats are kind of bugging me right now. So I'm trying to film this video here. Oh yeah, if anybody around the Dubuque Lamont area was to look at this house or whatever, you can just drive by it and see it from the road, you know. I'm just telling you that the house is on private property and the only reason why I was able to, to walk around it several years back was because I got permission from one of the family members. You know, I got permission, but the thing of it is, they're not going to allow any permission from any outsiders or any of my viewers, so that's why I'm telling you is why I'm filming this from the road and why I'm not going up to it or anything is because it's on private property and and the thing of it is, they're not going to allow any outsiders to go through to go around the house or anything. I mean, I just wanted to tell you that to my viewers and all that. So, I just wanted to show you this little piece of history here from, from my family and all that stuff. But yeah, this is, as you can see kind of from far away, there's, I don't know if you can barely make it out, but there's like a roof that's actually in the, I mean, there's a hole that's in the roof of that house there. So yeah. So anyway, I just thought I'd share this video of this this old house here and the history behind it. I mean, it's just sad to see that house there. I'm sure once it was a beautiful Victorian house, but now it looks like it's 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 about to crumble away. It's just a Sure, it was beautiful back in its day, Queen Anne Victorian house, but then, but now it's just slowly rotting away, and one of these days it's gonna fall down. I just know it. But yeah, even if I was able to get on the property, I wouldn't go inside the house because I'm sure it's, I mean, it's very, very, very dangerous to go inside because of. Because I remember several years back I kind of looked through the looked through the windows and I seen there were kind of like holes in the floor and like stuff like that so and I'm afraid if I was to go in there you know I would probably would fall in and all that I mean it's 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 very very dangerous they don't allow anybody going in there you know or to even step foot on the property which is why I'm filming this from the road I know I said how many times but I just can't stress it enough. So anyway, this is my video of the the old Gradet house from it's like located between like Dubuque and Lamont and all that and it's just a 
it's just an old beauty house you know relic from the past that's just rotten away i mean i'm sure it was beautiful back in its day but now it's just sad that it's just crumbling like that but anyway this is my video so sign off for now